the physical obstacles can be overcome. It's not that big a deal. It will happen. The real obstacle is our mental obstacles. What, what starts happening? Why is this happening? So in the late 20th century, we get this industrialization, globalization. So as architects, for thousands of years, as designers, we were basically builders. As builders, we were designers. The great buildings were built by master builders. There were no architects. There were no builders. They were all one unit. In the 1700s, that started to change in France. The AIA, unfortunately, convinced um, the US military in the early 1900s that instead of procuring buildings as design build, which is the way they used to say, we need a building, somebody would say, we could deliver you that building as a team. They said, oh, no, no, no. Architects and engineers, services should be procured based on qualifications, not on money. And builders should be procured based on low bid. That was the beginning of what we're dealing with now. And it's rolled forward and rolled forward, rolled forward, till now we have this incredibly dysfunctional system where we don't work as a team. Now, that's not saying we don't all work as a I maintain that any group of people that can work together openly, honestly, and transparently in a cooperative way can do this, right? And if you have a good team, if you're a developer and you've got a team, architect, engineer, builders that you've been working with for 20 years and you're, you're like got it running, you know how to do this, great. But if you're like most of the people, it's like, oh, I got an architect over here, engineers over here, I'm gonna bid out my builders. You're probably not gonna deliver a well integrated building for a market rate price. Not saying you won't deliver a building, but just the market rate is what I'm shooting for. So as architects, how did we lose control? Well, we got all this cool stuff and I got engineers, I go to my engineer and I say, hey engineer, I'm gonna design this beautiful edifice and I'm gonna leave you 13 foot floor to floor and I want 10 foot ceilings and so structural engineer, make it stand up. And by the way, leave some room for my MEP guy to get some lights and ducts in there and stuff. MEP guy, make it light, make it hot, cool and hot and make their poop go away. Now I can go back to doing what I wanna do which is create really stupid buildings like this. This building has now committed Mies van der Rohe's great-great-grandchildren to a carbon cycle for the rest of their life or is saying, somebody else clean up my grid. 